What we have here is the button cap and sticker set from Fanatec, which is designed to make your wheels look oh so very, very pretty with a host of selection of stickers and customizable buttons. Arguably, this product is quite overpriced, and you're probably going to hate yourself a little bit for wanting it. Let's go. first thing to note here with this item is the price. Now if you order this from the United Kingdom direct from Fantech with shipping and VAT it's going to cost you just south of 50 euros which is astronomical. Here we have 50 button caps all of multi different multicolors and we've got a selection of background stickers including circular variants and rectangular variants both white and black. They've also included some tweezers for easy application and a selection of decals and stickers to stick on and here we see the circular sticker sheets, the rectangular sticker sheets, and then the circular sticker sheets. These are nice quality, they're good, good tough plastic, um, I was quite happy with these, and uh, I think they will stand up to some punishment whilst racing. To apply these, you're going to gently need to remove the buttons from your chosen wheel, and I've chosen to use a guitar pick here. I wouldn't use a screwdriver or anything metal or sharp, as this will undoubtedly damage your wheel and scratch it. Um, sped this up here, but after a little bit of perseverance, they're all safely off and ready to go. Before you embark on applying the stickers, I would just have a little draft out of what color combinations you would like, because once they are on, they are not coming off the buttons. Here I'm just going to show you one application of how easy it is to put these on. Now we've got a plastic button here and what Fanatec have done is they've recessed it slightly so the stickers don't protrude when you press it, which is really quite nice. And once they're applied, they feel really good on the wheel. Um, decent enough plastic and they're kind of serrated on the inside in order to bite onto the buttons which they press onto the wheel. Here you just want to gently lift off, this is the base sticker, so it's a triple system, so you've got the colour of the button, then you've got the background of the button. Pick those up with some tweezers, then gently lay it down in the most obsessive surgical fashion onto your chosen button. Here we've got red on red, I believe we are doing the starter button for my wheel. Again, important to have a plan because once you, you've, you've got a finite number of these, and um, you don't want to destroy or wreck any of them because this is an expensive bit of kit. Gently apply it on, gently get off the tweezers and then press to secure. Nice. Here you want to gently remove your chosen sticker. Here we've got a transparent black starter sticker and then gently lay it on top. And that's the triple system that Fanatec talk about. Um, that's about as much palaver I can make over sticking a sticker on a button. I think overall these look pretty sharp. Once you've stuck all your button and sticker combinations on, you then want to want to gently apply it to your chosen wheel. Here we've got a Fanatec V2 and you just want to gently press them on. You'll feel a little bit of give and they click. Secure them. Here we've done the same for my 911 GT3 wheel and here is just some final eye candy showing you some close-up shots of what the buttons look like on the wheel. Again, this is the Fanatec V2. I'm quite happy with this. I think it looks good. I'm going to really enjoy this when I come to racing because I was really struggling with my button combinations because I didn't have a clue where anything was was during a race so this will improve my life significantly. Note the stickers you can also stick onto the wheel for the different switches and I think this is quite effective. Here's the same thing just on the 911 GT3 wheel we've gone for some color combinations here to kind of match the advanced podium module beneath and overall I'm pretty happy with this and I think it looks pretty pretty cool. So overall, am I happy with them? Now, I think they're pretty well made, they're nice to the touch, they're aesthetically pleasing, and overall I think it's going to increase my immersion while I race. Um, there's got to be something said for the pricing. Now, if you do just order these on their own from Fnatic, you are going to have to pay a shipping cost, and with myself being in the United Kingdom, a VAT fee on top, which brings it close to having just run it just south of 50 euros, which is borderline insane for a set of plastic stickers and button caps. However, what I would recommend is I bought these when I bought a wheel from, um, from Fanatec, which means I could sort of stomach it. I think 30 euros for this is still a little overpriced, but there's really nothing else out there that compares. I did have a brief look on Etsy and eBay just to see if there was any equivalent that people were making themselves. And because of the recessed buttons and the way they kind of clip into Fanatec's wheels, um, it's very difficult to replicate that. You can get stickers, um, but it's not quite the same. 
Um, what I would advise is also have a look on eBay as well. I think there's a lot of people selling these secondhand who've kind of had second thoughts or don't need them, or have moved on to different ecosystems. You might be able to pick yourself up a deal. So in short, don't buy it on their own. Buy it if you're buying something else. I do enjoy them. They are overpriced. You're gonna have to stomach it, but there's not an awful lot slot similar to that on the market. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy reviews, trauma team racing, all that good stuff, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you wanna be irritated by me every time I post a video, hit that alert button and I'll see you very, very soon. So good night, good evening, good morning. See you in the next one.